It's a beautiful, warm, sunny day out today, and I'm going to have a cigar out here on my front porch. It's been a long time since the weather's been nice enough for me to sit out here and have a cigar. And for today, I am having a Padron 1964 in Imperial. It's, um, I'd say about a 54 ring gauge. It's kind of like a Toro size. Anyway, this was sent to me by one of my viewers. Thanks, Bob. Because I've been saying how I would like to try a Padron 1964, but I've been always reluctant to plunk down the cash for one. Well, he sent me one. And actually, if you look back in my videos, I make a, uh, like a molded leather pouch. And I sent him that. He sent me this and a couple other cigars. A very good trade as far as I'm, as far as I'm considered. Oh, by the way, he really likes the pouch too. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this thing. I got my favorite cutter here. And get it lit. Got my triple torch vector here. Which is also my favorite lighter. Well, for using around the house. Because, you know, I don't want to stick this big thing in my pocket. A little bit of a breeze blowing today. But that shouldn't have too much of an effect. On the one hand, I, I know I'm in store for a treat. Everything I've read, everything I've seen about this cigar, people just love them. Hmm. Bit of a breeze blowing. It's kind of exciting. I've always wanted to try one of these. I don't know if I mentioned, but it is a box press. Perfect draw. See on the first light. Now, keep it in mind, I don't consider myself a cigar reviewer, but I know what cigars I like. I'm not a big foodie, in fact, my diet is rather restrictive mostly i just concentrate on getting my macros usually it's chicken rice sometimes you know, yeah simple foods now to start out with it's kind of um i would call it I would call it like a deep wood with a little bit of pepper. Thick smoke. There it goes, getting a little bit more spice on the finish. Well, I'm going to work on this thing for a little while and we'll be back. It's been about 40 minutes and look at that burn line. That's pretty much perfect. On the draw, it's got loads of smoke coming off of it. And it's a, a substantial smoke. You can tell that you've got a mouth full of smoke. The flavors have changed a little bit. The spices died down. It's still there. And you still get a little bit, a little bit of a wash of it over your uh, over your tongue on the finish. It's picked up though a little bit of like sweet chocolate. Still has the woodiness, but the woodiness has got a little bit deeper. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and tap that ash off before it drops in my lap, and I'm going to keep going. This is a very good cigar. Well, it's been about an hour and 10 minutes in. Burn light is still pretty darn good. It's dropped a little bit of the, uh, the sweet chocolate and it's kind of become more of a sweet cream, both in texture and in flavor. It's a very good cigar. It just goes from being very good to being very good.
a little bit of um, cinnamon on the retro hail. Still giving out lots of smoke. As far as the strength goes, I would say somewhere between mild and medium. It's just a full body, flavorful cigar. This is the kind of cigar where you just want to sit down, relax, and enjoy. It's not something that you have for, you know, if you just want to smoke, that's where you, that's where you use your budget cigars. And usually I smoke budget cigars, so. Well, I'm going to keep going on this. That's the thing, it's one of those cigars you want to last forever. Yeah, burn line gets a little bit wavy, but it's it's been correcting itself, so that's no big deal. I haven't had to do any kind of touch-ups on it. Anyway, I'll be back in a little bit. It's been about an hour and 50 minutes, and I'm pretty much done with it. It's been a nice, smooth cigar. Excellent flavor. And pretty much a perfect burn line all the way down. I really enjoyed it. But um, it's down to the nub, so I think this is pretty much going to be it. Anyway, see y'all next time.